Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Houseplants Pixie. <coughs> Houseplant Pixie. Sorry, I haven't done this in a while and my apologies. I have been a little bit slack with following up on videos. Today is the first follow up video how the fiddly fig went after the top actually broke off and I did all these cuttings. But yeah, first up, my apologies and thank you for everyone who still follows me. <laughs> I will make some update videos. I'm making a start today. So I think I can't... It doesn't show me when exactly it was that I pruned my ficus urata. So what happened, as you probably all experienced with the ficus, you bring it home and then it sheds all its leaves and you go like, oh, what the hell is going on? It lost all its leaves and then I found a nice and bright position. So you can refer back to the video, but Ficus Dorata, they want bright light. That's the Nanplus Ultra. You need bright, indirect light. The brighter, the better. Not so much water, but they need lots of light. Billy. So, I see if I can find a picture and I blend it in what it looks like, what looked like. I basically was talking about pruning it and it was super tall and, and then it just fell and broke. The thing I didn't do, I did not <laughs> did a follow up on the roots. Unfortunately, I gave the cuttings away. So, I rooted them and then potted them up and gave them to people. That's what I do. <laughs> Boom. Out the house. <laughs> I, got, I got too many plants and it's a mess. I can show you in a minute up here and I need to get on top of it. But I've been a bit busy. Anyway, the ficus that broke, it had no leaves and nothing. There it is. That is it. That's what's grown back and it's been in the same position. They do not like to be moved. So if you buy one and you find a position for it and it's growing, great. Leave it where it is. I got one in my lounge room and I actually have additional lighting to give it a bit of support. That one had spider mite. So first indications that you're doing something wrong, mainly overwatering. Over watering. It's what most people do. Because it's such a big tree, but they they need very little water. I think I watered this one maybe in summer a bit more now, but maybe in winter once a month. And yeah, I don't give it much either. But you'll be able to tell the, the leaves will brown or the leaves will drop off. And if they have spider mites, they have like a little webbing around it, so you will be able to identify what sort of problem you have, but you will see it in the leaves first up. This guy sits in a self watering pot, so it's got a reservoir, and once the... So if you plant them first into that self watering pot, of course the roots are not grown into the reservoir to actually take the water from there. But it's really, really good. I don't know, I just touch the reservoir if that's empty in the bottom. I just fill that up and works wonders. Oh, it drips into the from the top into the reservoir and then if the roots are long enough, they take the water from there. It's perfect. It's a bit like a saucer as well. So you don't want your plant to have wet feet, like sit in the water. But yeah, that's it. I'm pretty stuck with it. I'm I'm gonna take the camera off and show you in a minute the, the pot and everything. I haven't changed the soil. I also don't like um, repotted. So if you got this massive tray and it's happy and it's still growing, leave it where it is. It's just because it's so big and it's got a small. They like to be snug in a pot. So here is the self watering pot. So I should have cleaned up, yeah. Yellow leaves. Um, 
and the reservoir is here. There you go, and you can stick your finger in and can check. And you can either fill it up from there or it's gonna run down. Don't overfill it. And I like to turn my plants. So it was basically, you can, you can see that it was growing that way, so it was growing towards the light. So I'm just moved it around to even it out a bit. So in the cut I made a year ago was here. Well, it broke and then I made a cut. So sometimes you're lucky and actually you get two shoots out. I only got the one, but that's not a problem. And I'm pretty stoked that I got the watering right and everything because look at these leaves. Like, they are so luscious and like, there's nothing on them. Well, I say that now and then in a couple of days I have some mealy bugs. Touch wood, I hope not. Yeah, this guy has grown a lot. My apologies, I haven't done a video earlier. I get into all the catch-up videos and thanks to my friend <laughs> she actually started watching all my videos and she goes like hey I want to know well, she knows my house but <laughs> she said people probably want to know what happened to that did you kill it no I didn't kill it it's here it sits in a south facing window so it's not it's indirect light but it's very bright light I don't have any curtains I don't have any anything blocking the light so this is there's no secret to lots of healthy plants it's it's just light the right watering and rather underwater than over water and yeah check for your mealy bugs and spider mites for your pest and disease and then you you sweat and most plants they will show you when they are not watered um, they have droopy leaves and they will recover i hope you liked this video if you did like it give it a like thank you for everyone who watched this video all the way to the end you're awesome and i also lost a little bit of motivation for my youtube channel because yes i have ads in it but I'm not getting paid for it yet because I need to uh, watch hours. So yeah, 2023, I'm going to try and put some effort in and let's see how we go. Thanks for watching. Throw me a comment. Let me know how your fiddle leaf's going and what your experience is. I'd love to hear about it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Until then, stay plenty. Bye.